Hello everyone, my name is a friend and maybe a couple days ago they made the gauntlet easier and I want ideally to test it out because it feels like not it's only easier but it's more fun to do. Uh, first of all I'm gonna look at the uh, total death count 68 so I'm gonna because I don't know how many kills I'm gonna do. Basically overall the gauntlet became easier. The regular one and the corrupted one although not all changes apply to both of them. Let's say for the regular one they made that if you enter like the very first rooms it will always contain certain amount of basic resources that you need to move on throughout the whole gauntlet but this does not apply to the corrupted gauntlet however what does apply is uh, boss spawns are less random so let's say on these corners the bosses can never spawn so you know that you don't have to check them you don't have to go all the way in line to keep looking for bosses now you know that it's one two three one two three one two three and same on all sides basically these are the only places but it's still random it still could be i assume that if you go upstairs let's say right to the north and there's going to be no boss at all to be found but then you know you don't have to go through the corners you can just maybe instantly go through here that should be faster i think wait hold up just because this is timed i'm gonna leave this i'm gonna start again because i talked for too long in that one room so it's very nice because you go straight line and then you can check this room obviously and then you go here and then you go down here and if nothing you can either walk all the way or you know go like uh so yes actually it can be completely dry they didn't make it that's what i initially thought maybe they made so it's guaranteed on each side just that you have to open those three rooms but apparently that's not the case now also previously when you were cooking food you had to spam click if you wanted to do in one game tick so you see it like it is now but if you stop it it still keeps going so it's no longer two tick action it's one tick okay this is gonna be whoa there's no bosses at all on this side either come on okay here we go that's a beer which i actually don't want but i'm running out of time because when i'm making commentary i sometimes stop doing everything I, I usually should have much better time than this. Oh, they changed how it looks like. That thing that it spews out. So every time, okay, so that was two hits. That was three hits. And now there's gonna be one more hit. And now, you saw that? Oh, I forgot, I forgot. I, I legit forgot to change on, on this one. But every time the four, oh my God, they changed the magic attack too. It is so much easier to see. However, that was the old attack still. So now it did that thing again. After four hits, it like moves around. So you can actually, snack like you don't really have to count maybe anymore like let's say if i don't don't count i think that's the last one now yes that was the last one and i had to swap nice 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 i like this one like oh there we go i i didn't count again nice nice although you, you kind of have the intuition when to swap the prayers so what they also made is i'm gonna just show you how, how it feels like to um, uh, shoot with a staff because they made that magic weapons have the same damage as the range and melee, I assume. However, I'm also wondering what about, like they changed the damage on the staff, but what about the accuracy? Because previously it's, it felt so inaccurate and all I see is that uh, it uh, improved the damage to match the other weapons. See, it's okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I barely made it. Loot was not changed, by the way. Now, this is something that I would not be going for, but what they also made is that you need less resources to upgrade your armor. So if you're actually really struggling at the boss, but you're okay with the times, like if you're okay to spend more time collecting resources, instead of nine of each for tier two armor, you only need seven of each. So that's two full plus one. That's why I didn't uh, finish chopping this one. So it's like still the same amount of resources for the plate, but legs and helm only required one instead of two. Oh, the consolation prize coming in. I wonder how much it is right now because the prices just go up and down, up and down. 5.1 mil. The whole inventory is 7.5 million. <laughs> That kill will not count, okay? I will die right now. That will not count. I hate when this happens. W which is never. When, when was the last time I got a connection loss? What the hell, man? No, 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 no. Again. No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is this happening suddenly? Where are these connection loss coming from? Okay, so overall, they buffed the staff very nicely. I would actually prefer staff and a crystal bow just because you can range from far away. And I, I think Halbert still deals more damage, it's like more DPS, because I think you can hit 40s if I can remember correctly. And I still don't have 99 strength. I'm still like 97. But it's so... It's good. It's accurate now. It says it's, it's actually like uh, getting uh, or taking a crystal crossbow. <laughs> what is this? Actively trade the price two million. It cannot be that much. There's no way. 
There we go, <laughs> 4.7 mil. All right, 8 million pretty much made from the gauntlet. Now, currently I have no saplings left whatsoever, but I can still check the trees that I have planted already and I am 87 KXP left from 99 farming. I can just check and just kind of leave them because I, I don't think I'll be farming after this. Yes, there is a farming pet, but I, I don't really care about that. Okay, I'm going to check this tree, but remember every time I'm getting a 99, I have to drop this hit point scape, otherwise it will be automatically trimmed. Now, some of you said, actually quite a, quite a bunch of you in the, when I was getting 99 prayer, that you don't have to log into free to play world. You can just do it in members world. I'm kind of scared to do this because sometimes people say things that are not true, but because of how many of those comments almost check the tree, not go, oh my God. So wait, I can just drop the cape, check the health, get 99 farming. Woo, hell yeah. Look at that. Whoa. Okay, and then now I can just all grab it and it should be fine. Oh, G great. <laughs> yes, <G> gratte. <laughs> so it has a teleport option that you can teleport straight to the farming guild. Just unlimited teleports as many times as you want. Also provides you 5% more yield on herbs and it stacks with secateurs. So in combination, it's 15% more yield. Although I will not be farming on this account. It's, it's kind of like for Iron Man, it's really nice, but like why would a main account do that? Now, the reason why I wanted to get 99 farming is of course to get uh, more total levels and another 99, but also at level 99, you can plant unlimited spirit trees that also means i can plant another one in my house actually i think if you click travel it will tell you exactly locations which i haven't planted and yes that is your house as well but for that i need 95 construction so it's not really doable since you cannot use a saw to build it so you actually need a minimum of level 90 construction i have these these will grow very soon so i'm gonna go to port sanum right now uh to be honest i have no idea where this one could be used it's right here so it's like not like it would teleport straight to the kingdom management or anything there is a bank close by i guess what is this dungeon is this for quest only i think you can't even like access it. Oh, I guess for white berries maybe. There's a bush patch. This is what I was doing on my hardcore item and not this patch, but if I could have had unlocked by planting a spirit tree, you know, obviously you need 99 farming. Could be a nice place, but not on this. It's kind of like a completionist thing. You know, when I click on a spirit tree, I want to see all of the options unlocked eventually. All right, so this is the last tree in the Hosidius. I kind of still want to unlock the one in my house. For that, I would need level 90 construction. I just googled how many planks I would need. Let's go to Gnan Exchange. It's been a while published since I showed you my bank. The bank value is not that high. 22.8 mil, but I do have 52 mil right here. It's just like I, I sold everything. I need 9,815, and that's going to cost me 20 million. Ladies and gentlemen. Dude, I don't know what the hell is going on today. Like another connection loss while I'm training construction. It's like, take a break right now. <laughs> I just started this. It actually gets kind of annoying when you're doing this late in the evening because there is this visible delay. Even if I click like properly, you see it's like, there's definitely one game tick delay that it should. Look, did you see, look, look, I'm gonna click, click. That is, that is one click, that there is one tick delay right here on walking. That's why doing gauntlet was so difficult also. So yesterday before I went to sleep, I had 300 KXP to go and I was getting like 580 or 560 KXP an hour because of the lag. It's like one game tick later on every action that I had to do. I woke up in the morning, I'm currently getting 712 KXP and I'm finished. I don't know what happened because I literally used the calculation how many mahogany planks I'm going to need and I already have it. This is like a big miscalculation, what the hell? Just got it again, and I got in the same place again. But this time I was actually waiting. I know it's not gonna go down because I was waiting until my boost of range goes down to 111. So now I probably have like half a minute to complete this. Oh my God, finally. Literally it took me like one hour to do this, by the way. I could have gotten another construction level, but let's build. Spit, oh. Look at this, dude. This seems like a lot of options. I never used this one before. Okay, so the first option is click on the tree. Uh, these have not grown yet. Even if they've grown, I think you need to check health before it can teleport. So that's going to be like in a couple days. So now just configure and last destination. Awesome. The only thing that's bad still is that I don't have the Lumbridge Diaries completed. So I still have to equip a Draymond staff. So if I really want to do something quick, I cannot just like teleport straight to my house. You know, uh, like if I'm doing Calphite Queen, let's say, like there is a uh, Fairy Ring close by, 
I can't like it, it takes inventory space basically and it's just an annoying thing to have so eventually I'd like to complete that but you need like 76 room crafting so 71 boostable it's quite a bit 